Okay, what I've done, I went ahead and did a complete grid on this um, test grid to show you the locations I used the, um, the mini and we're going to do a download I just want to show you what's behind here you can see the target placements uh, at 4 and 8 there's a small wire at 14 there's a small ring and down below in the corner in the first, last two squares there's a screwdriver and then there's a circle right in the center of the four squares under 16 and 17 which these squares correspond to these marks on all of and what's behind it so now I'm gonna set up the software which is might be a little hard to see but uh, what I'll do, I'll take some pictures of it also, capture some pictures in the software and put them on the, the video so you can see it uh, better. What you want to do now is you want to go to a site that you've already created, which let me zoom in a little bit here. You want to go to a site of which I have test here, so we'll go into test and I have a couple of things here, we're just going to ignore them. But within test we're going to download uh, uh, video so we want to move down to down I mean the grid we want to move down to download select download now at this point it's going to say RGO which is right you don't have to change anything in here the only thing you need to make sure is that you have this setting one meter by one meter and the dummy value at 1024 and if you have to change that then you can go down to the corner here save template it says same template as a new one or no will revise the current you want to select no because you want to use the same template save it so you're set up now this when you load this back up for a download you won't have to uh, set this again you hit next at this point if and I'm going from the beginning if you didn't do anything yet this is only showing COM3. I don't have my adapter plugged in yet. I have my cable hooked up to um, the logger here. And now I'm going to hook my adapter up to the computer. I use the same, the same plug each time. And the reason I'm saying this is this is the best way to find out what COM port you're using. If you run your software without your adapter plugged in, it'll show you what COM port you already have. If you cancel this out, just select it and say OK, and then hit, hit Cancel to get, to, uh, to get rid of it, and then start over again. You want to hit Download, and see those values that I saved are still there hit next now you can see what COM port has been added which is COM6 for this computer so that's the one that my adapter is my uh, loggers on so I know that now because um, 3 was there before and 6 showed up after I uh, plugged it in so I got the COM port set up we're gonna put the files in a new subfolder which I'm going to call uh, test grid and I'm going to save it now you need to select that folder to put the grid in now the functions down here if you notice it says press next instruction below for instructions so you press next it says make sure the loggers on which I'm going to turn turn the logger on now if you notice it's going to ask me like it did before I want to say no because I want to download that grid that's inside of here okay now the software is saying after you do that you select 
next instruction make sure it's set to auto because in, for this software you have to have the logger set to the auto mode for the instructions for the software so now I'm going to come here and I'm going to set it to auto come back here hit the button again to see what my next instruction is it says select the bank and grid to download now for the Arduino logger the regular logger you would set your bank and you would set your grid for that to download which would be on this one here if I was downloading with this you'd set these two but I'm not I'm downloading with the mini which only has one grid so that's not you don't have to set anything hit the next instruction it says press the download key below but let me you see it changed the word changed to download here before you do that there's a time limit that will error out on the software if you don't start to download fast enough so you come back over here to whatever logger you're going to use with whether it's this one or the uh, mini you want to press the download and it, when it's asking you yes do you want to download yes or no you get this set up first because once you press this button on the software it's waiting for you to start to download so as soon as I press this I'm gonna reach over and press the yes button so the software will receive the data press yes and you saw the bar go across it says one grid successfully downloaded alright we're gonna hit OK we come over here to finish now another screen comes up this is a screen that's used so that you can you can um, join your grids together if you want but we only have one grid so we're gonna go into our, our place where our test grid folder and you saw our grid pop up now we're gonna move the mouse over it select the left button and drag it into the first corner like that now we're gonna come over here and knock those other green blocks off because these are blocks that if you had more grids of the same size you can always add them together so now we're gonna come over knock those off you saw them to go away and now we're gonna save it come down to save hit save it's gonna ask well what do you want to save it so we'll call it uh, test plot test plot and of course hit save it saves it and you shows you in the list here that test plot does exist now we're gonna load up the test plot click twice on it we're gonna move this out of the way now this screen right here is a screen that's used just to give you placement of where the um, the logger receive the sounds. I'm going to change the colors so you can get we'll get a, a little better color. Um, what we got these are the highest points here, crossways. This one and this one. Now I'm going to open the test grid back up so you can see the relationship of that you notice the position of it and if you come here you can see why it shows that two blocks you can see that piece you see it's crossways it shows the two blocks there now there's another smaller section here that corresponds to this target there in block 14 and even though you can't see these blocks there's blocks here six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve well it's count, it counts backwards but this is block fourteen now if you come down you remember the one that's in the middle on the line the orange color is the highest signal level even though it kind of picked it up a little bit on either side that is the highest signal level of that uh, ring and you can see it here 